Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Cheapskaters, there are two ways to re-gift. One with class and style, and yes, the other is just plain tacky. I suggest that if you really want to re-gift well, class and style is the method you choose, and I'll outline just how you can re-gift to put a smile on the recipient's face and keep a little more cash in your purse. So while you sit there and shake your head thinking, that's tacky, it's cheap, oh, no wonder they call it a cheapskate, just remember that re-gifting is common, a lot more common than you think. And in its own way, it makes good economic sense. And also remember, when you give a gift, it belongs to the lucky person you gave it to. It's theirs to do with what they will. If they choose to re-gift, it's perfectly okay because you don't give gifts with conditions attached. We give gifts because we want to and we want the gift to benefit the recipient. So there's two ways, as I said, to re-gift. One with class and style and one that's tacky. I suggest you really want to re-gift. Class and style is the method you choose. It's so much better. Re-gifting rule number one, re-wrap and remove any gift tags. Now, even if you think the gift wrapping is lovely, unwrap that present and check the contents then re-wrap it in equally lovely new paper. If you really want to be a cheapskate, carefully iron the original paper and use it to wrap other gifts. Oh, and check the gift tags inside and outside the wrapping and get rid of them. And if there's any price tags on there, get rid of those too. Re-gifting rule number two, keep your mouth shut. It's really simple. You don't need to explain how you came by the wonderful gift you're giving Aunt Sue. You just have to hand it over with a smile on your face and hope that she likes it. She might re-gift it. Re-gifting rule number three, only re-gift new items. Don't re-gift used items you've been given. By all means, pass them on, just not as gifts. And don't re-gift items that are so old that the store or the manufacturer has gone out of business because that makes warranty calls really hard. And that, my friends, is really, really tacky. Re-gifting rule number four, and this really should be rule number two, keep a record of what you re-gift and who you re-gift to. You don't want to be re-gifting that hideous whatever it is back to the person who gave it to you. It's not a cute Christmas card going back and forth between families as a joke. This is a gift. So always know who gave it to you originally and never, ever give it back to them. Re-gifting rule number five, sell your unwanted gifts. Why not? As I mentioned earlier, when you give a gift, you give it to benefit the recipient. It doesn't, or at least it shouldn't, have strings attached. So if you have something that you can't use, even for re-gifting, selling it is one way to make that gift benefit you. And that's the intention of a gift, to benefit the recipient. You can then use the proceeds to buy brand new, never given before gifts and save yourself a lot of re-gifting stress if you want to. Or you can use them to buy something that you really want or really need. So whether or not you choose to re-gift or whether you have gifts sitting in the bottom of the linen cupboard and stuffed on the top shelf of the spare bedroom wardrobe, remember these rules as you're wrapping your presents this year and always, always re-gift with class and style. Before I go... I want to thank you so much for watching all the way through and for subscribing because you have hit that subscribe button, haven't you? Feel free to leave a comment and if you do, start that comment with love re-gifting 
so I know that you've watched all the way to the end of the video. This just helps me with planning for future videos. And please feel free to leave a comment below. I would love to know your thoughts on re-gifting. I read every comment and I do my best to answer any questions you may have. If you know someone who might like this video or who might like to know more about the Chips Cats Club, please click that share button to send them the link. The three simple things, like, subscribe and share, help our channel to grow and be recognised more easily. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the word that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but it is absolutely possible, even in today's crazy, crazy world. I'll be back with another Cheapskates Club video to show you how to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing very, very soon. But until then, happy cheapskating everyone.